we copy the content of our bag under the broker container. Okay. As you can see, this one is created. So success. So now let's check. It's working. And as you can see here, this is our server. You can click and it's all working as what we expect. Hey guys, it's Wilson Spadigate. Today, I want to share a short story. So when I start my first internship, my leader told me that there is no point as a data scientist to just end up with a Python notebook or a Python file. He told me that to learn how to serve a product. And product means like websites and applications, anything that user can interact with our project. So that's why the reason I started to learn about front end, I started to learn about the back end, and that's also the reason why today I want to share how to dockerize our Django applications and also deploy in the server. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so in here I have a simple Django project. Okay, so now let's click. This is the simple project that I create in Django. But what I want to show you in here, how to create a run with Docker. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a Docker file, which inside the backend folder. So right now we call it Docker file. And inside of the Docker file, we call paste this. I will explain a little bit of what this command means. So the first one in here from Python. 3.9 Alpine means, okay, we are going to use Python with a version as 3.9 for this project. And we also set the working directory, which is the app backend. Here, we do copy requirement.txt and also this folder, which means we're going to copy the requirements file to the working directory and also install the requirements using run pip and install requirements.txt. And then we also copy it again. So we copy the content of our back to the Google container and here expose to 8000, which means we want to expose this project into the port, which is 8000. And the last one is the command to starting our container. So basically it's Python minus to py run for as usual. So we could save. And the second step is to create a docker compose.yama. So we should create it in the root folder and we can also copy this. So in short, 3.9 means this is the first thing that we are going to use. And the services is the backend. And the context is the from the folder of the backend and the Docker file is the Docker file that we have already created in here. So it will link it. And the port is 8000. As you remember, we already exposed to 8000 in here. And the volume is as the backend, which is the backend taken from the backend folder. And the last thing that we should also add while we're creating this Docker is the docker.ignore. So we write all the things that we don't want to host the Docker. To check whether our Docker is working or not, we call it use docker compose build. Okay, so before that, we should open our Docker desktop. If you don't have Docker, then you will need to install it first. You can go to docker.com products Docker desktop. In here, you can see this download for Windows, but if you're using Mac or Linux, then just don't it. that since I already have it. So yeah, let's open it. Okay, once our Docker desktop is open, so now let's try to build this. Okay, as you can see, this one is created. And once we create it, we can also try to run it using docker compose art command. Okay, so now it's already up. You see the docker desktop. Now the status changed to be in use. So now let's check where it's open or not. So we can go in piece in here. Okay, so it's working. We can click and all of this working. If we turn off the docker, then we cannot open this again. Okay, so the next step before we are playing with our server is Git because we will move our folder and file from our local to server using GitHub. So the first thing that you need to do in here is to git add and do git commit and then git push 
Okay, so now our file is already in our GitHub repository. So now the next thing is to play around with our server. Okay, so right now you have already understand how to set up our Docker and how to run our Docker container in a local. So now let's talk about how to run it in a server, which means we need to deploy it in a server. And right now I'm, I'm going to use DigitalOcean. Uh, actually, you could use any platform that you want. And uh, if you're new to DigitalOcean, of course, you need to create your own account first. This is the default project. And in here, you will need to create a droplet, which is you can click and spin up a droplet. And then you will need to choose the region. In here, I will choose Singapore because Singapore is the closest country to Indonesia. And then this is the OS, which is Ubuntu, and this is a version. You can choose anything here, but I will choose 22. And also this is the CPU, I will choose the basic because my project is very simple. But if you need uh, any other things in here, you can also choose uh, the memory optimized or the CPU optimized up to you. And then the CPU option, I will also use the lecture one and I will also choose the smallest version in here. So after that, there's two options. You can choose to create your own assets HD or a password. Right now I'm going to use the password. So I will click in here. And then this part, the house name, you could change it into whatever you want. Okay, so right now you could copy your droplet in here, which is your name is texting. You could copy and then to access these, you could use PowerShell. And the command that you should input is SSH root. And yes, and in here you shall input your password. So now we are already connected with our server. The next step is I want to move my project from the local to this server. So the easiest way is to git clone from our GitHub repository. Copy in here and then git clone. Okay, so if we do ls in here, we can see there is the folder that from my GitHub. Right now, to run the Docker, we could use Docker Compose Build and Docker Compose Up. But as you can see in here, we don't have Docker installed in our server. So the first thing that we need to do is to install it. Click yes. Enter. Then you also need to install the Docker Compose. Yes. And also click enter in here. Okay, so now we could run our command Docker Compose build. See, this is the same process that we see in our local, but in curious and other servers. Okay, so after we build all this, we could run Docker Compose up, but in here, we'll get an error, and I will show you why and how to solve it. So in here, as you can see, suppubbish URL is required. I will close this first, and I will back it in here. If you see in here, we're utilizing .env file, which is, this is the environment variable that we access it to our jingle. And in our server, we still don't have any environment variable. So the easiest way to create your environment variable file in this server is to go to your folder backend and then create nano.env. So what you can do is here, you could write your secret and you can save any secret in here like your database secret or anything. Right now I've already write my superpass URL and also other keys to save it you could use control X and then click yes, and then also enter. So right now it's already saved in our server. Now let's try to run this. Okay, great. So it's a success. So now let's check. 
Okay, so now it's working and as you can see here is this other server. You can click and it's all working as what we expected. And in here, as you can see, this is the lock from our server or what we clicking in the front end. So yeah, it's working at all. If we close this and we try to reload this, we won't see anything here because the server is turned off. So that's it, how you connect to your server, how you deploy your Docker into the server. If you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, just let me know in the comment sections below. Bye-bye.